स्पेशल टेस्ट फॉर द एंकल जॉइंट फर्स्ट वोमेन्स साइन Homan's sign. Homan's sign is commonly seen in a patient with a deep pain from bufebitis in the calf. Let's demonstrate the special test. Patient position supine line with knee extended. Exa examiner position standing beside the patient. Procedure. Then examiner passively dorsi flex the patient's ankle. Pain in the calf indicate positive Homan's sign for the deep pain from bufebitis. In case of positive sign, examiner also find pallor or swelling in the leg and loss of dorsalis pedis pulse. In positive human sign, tenderness is also elicited on palpation of the calf. Second, Burger's test. Burger test is used to test for arterial blood sugar to lower level. Let's demonstrate the Burger test. Special position. Supinal with face, patient knee extended. Therapist position standing beside the patient. Procedure: Examiner patiently elevated the patient leg at 45 degree with pillow and for three minutes. If the foot blunders or beginning to pain or prominent vein collapse shortening after the elevation, then indication the test is positive for poor arterial blood circulation. Then after three minutes, therapist asks the patient to sit with leg hanging over edge of the table. Then therapist observes the color of the limb restored or remain become the thin and prominent. Then test is confirmed positive. Third, Winlas test. Winlas test. Winlas test is used to determine the blood alkalinities. Winlas test is also called red to extension test or post metatarsal dyes test. Patient position. Patient stand on a stool or chair with the foot is positioned so the metatarsal head rests on the edge of the stool. Therapist position. Sitting beside the patient. Procedure. While the patient maintain weight through the leg, therapist then passively dorsiflex the big toe at the metatarsophalangeal joint, going as far as it will go. Normally, this action will cause the elevation of medial longitudinal arch and later rotation of the tibia. If both actions do not occur, the foot cannot function normally. Pain or increased pain at the insertion of plantar fascia indicates positive test for the plantar fasciitis. Lack of extension may indicus, indicates relax rigidus. This test is also used to test flexible fat food. For fist line test. Fist line test. This test is used to assess the flat foot in the patient. Patient position. High sitting position without bearing weight on the foot. Therapist position. Stand beside the patient. Procedure. Therapist first mark the apex of medial medullus and plantar aspect of first metatarsophalangeal joint. While patient not bearing weight on the dead foot, therapist then palpate the navicular tuberosity on medial aspect of foot and mark it. Then therapist observe when the navicular tuberosity lies line joining the previously marked the point. Then patient is asked to stand on a floor then two marked points are checked to the ensure. Then they still represent apex of medial medullus and plantar aspect of the first metatarsophalangeal joint. The navicular tub tubercle is again palpated. The patient is asked to stand on a floor, then two mark points are checked to the ensure that they still represent apex of medial medullus and plantar aspect of first metatarsophalangeal joint. The navicular tubercle is again palpated. The navicular tubercle normally lies on or close to line joining the two points. 
If the tubercle falls on one third of the distance to the floor, this represents first degree flat foot. If it falls two third of the distance, it is represents a second degree of flat foot. If a rest on the floor, it represents a third degree of flat foot. Five navicular drop test. Navicular drop test. This test is used to analyze midfoot mobility and its effect on other part of the kinetic chain. Patient position: sitting on a stool with foot rest on a floor. Therapist position: standing beside the patient. Procedure: first, therapist palpate the navicular tuberosity. Therapist then mark the height of the navicular tuberosity on a paper. Then therapist asks the patient for relaxed standing position. Then again therapist marks the height of the navicular tuberosity on a paper. The difference of a two mark on paper is called navicular drop. First indicate amount of foot pronation or flattening of the medial longitudinal arch during standing. Any measurement greater than 1 cm is considered as a abnormal or indicate flexible flat foot.